Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just to let you know that Microsoft has once again confirmed a, another known issue when it comes to Windows updates. And the latest is that devices, they say, might boot into BitLocker recovery with the July 2024 security update, which is this update, KB5040442, which I did post on, and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. So basically what this is all about is that Microsoft says that after installing this update, 5040442, you might see a BitLocker recovery screen upon booting your device. And they carry on to say that this screen does not commonly appear after a Windows update, and you are more likely to face this issue if you have the device encryption option enabled in settings under privacy and security device encryption. So to get to that, we head to privacy and security. We head to device encryption. And as Microsoft says, if you have this turned on, you are more likely to experience the issue. Now, I'm not, but just putting it out there. So if you want to toggle that off, um, maybe that's a good idea if you are experiencing this issue. Now, Microsoft says that resulting from this problem, you might be prompted to enter the recovery key from your Microsoft account to unlock your drive. So that's basically the gist of what's going on. Now, the workaround is this. Microsoft says your device should proceed to start up normally from the BitLocker recovery screen once the recovery key has been entered. Now, if you don't know where to get your recovery key, it's actually quite simple to do. So what we do here is we head over to our Microsoft account. We head over to the devices page and on the devices page you will see details underneath that particular device. You click on that and yeah, you can see manage recovery keys. You click on that and then obviously you'd have to enter uh, your password and or PIN and follow the steps and that's how you can get access to your BitLocker recovery key to manage your recovery keys in case you are unaware. And then Microsoft also says that they are investigating the issue and will provide an update when more information is available. So I'm just putting it out there if you are affected. And the affected platforms are basically the whole of Windows 11, Windows 10, and Windows Server. And if anything changes and I get any more information, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.